Alright. Gonna do some Hellhorn 200 shard. Let's fucking go. It's the prince, though. Not... Not the best. Alright, this is probably not enough for me to start Brawler. I think I'd rather still do Wrathful if offered. Talos Pusher, Sin of Failure, Serve the Patient. Not worried about Patient, Pusher could be annoying. They're okay starters. That's an easy choice. Could probably value this is actually a pretty good map for shards. Could probably value prototype decently. Oh Hellhorned. Hellhorned. Okay. Definitely that. Might even just go with the uh in, in flame if I have to. Is that smart? Yeah, I mean, we're... We're god tier here. Well, I've got a plethora of multi-strike. Hmm. Is it even worth hitting one of these? I guess so. Is it? Yeah, we don't want them to get damage shield if I can't kill this guy, which I probably can't. Takes them out. I may even want to keep this guy. Just take that guy out though. bad. Easiest ritual of my life. Bone Merchant Magic anyhow. It's not out of the question that we still... Well, is it out of the question that we end up with an incant deck? I kind of think it is. Because I have Gurgis Goat. Why would I... Why would I go incant? Stygian incant units. I already have the ritual. I can see skipping here. I mean, we just we just want to hit that ritual. We want to hit even an inflame. I think we skip these. Just trying to think of any of these. Yeah. Double stack. Minus two. Then ritual. Yeah. Real beater. Easy choice there. Good double stack in flame. It's not in, Oh, if I do that, I can't. Can't do the good play. For ritual. And I'm just, oh shit, I could just hold it over two cost. Been more and more open to that lately. Right now it makes sense. There's not much else to do in this deck. Um, could be tough and patient though. It's an early hell vent. This is 
It's a lot better if you knew you have quick already. Because if you don't end up with quick, it's entirely possible you need to use a lot of, you know, energy toward removing the enemy or applying defense or dazing things. Which I guess is the same as applying defense in its own way. And how likely are we to get quick? That steel is incredibly hittable. That steel is hittable, that steel is great, that steel is not so great, but it's hittable. I have to give up a helmet, but we can probably have so many shards in this run. In this scenario, I might not do the holdover and just do this. I don't know. Tell us the pusher. I think we just take it to a one. drop pretty well coming up. Screed it. Fuck. Now in this case, this fucking hurt us. Damn it. Ugh. Most of my damage is here, so we should do this. Probably not worth the gold that I spent there. Hmm. I don't know that overstacking here makes a whole lot of sense. I could get a steel worker, and that in that case it would kind of make sense. Drop cage opens up. I think it's probably worth taking. What about vent? Honestly, vent's not horrible either. I think I'll take this though. Stitch and commons, bleh. Make the torches actually kill stuff. Go like that. Save one. We, we need to try to save our prior. Do we have anything with that Merchant of Magic? Not really. Yeah, let's go for the Hellbent then. Okay. Could technically go Horned Warrior. But since we missed on... I'm tempted actually to do Rail Beater here. Or sorry, um... Branded Warrior? Uh, 
don't know though. Could make a pretty powerful floor there. I think I think I actually skipped these. I don't know that I want this to be fragile. It's eh, it could be fine. Just get an extra multi-strike. Yeah. I think I still prefer Steelworker if I can find it, you know, here. But we're probably going here, so I'm probably not gonna search for it there. Do really need quick okay, resonant shards great. That is not at all what we need. Alright, should be able to get through this. 45 isn't even that high. Okay. I need to get that life steal. Doing that so it, uh, you know, it's pusher. I don't want to fuck the stuff up too bad. This guy's gonna eat up the melee weakness, so I should take him out. Yeah, we might be fucked though. Okay, good there. I'm not gonna mess with it. That's tough. Ooh, transcendent. I don't know if it's that good in this case. Offering. This is the game plan here. Well, if we get quick, easy game plan, just cycle rituals onto the quick triple striker, potentially even quad striker eventually. If we can't get quick, still could get a steel worker. We could overstack steel workers. If we don't get Steelworker, if we don't get quick, we do armor with the imp, I guess. Is it worth taking speculatively for that? If I go here. Multi and quick are good, large stun's bad. Endless. I guess we could go endless here. It just opens up, I guess, this merchant of steel to be a bit better. This would probably be a better endless though, huh? Also, armor, if I don't find days, could be a good one into patient. Do I need a titan sentry? can't self-infuse without burning a hell vent on it, so I don't think I actually want it. I don't like 
a non-infused Titan Sentry. Am I incanting a lot in this deck? Not if I don't have many Merchant of Magics hit to cost reduce, which apparently I don't have. We skip. Pretty sure we do draw for now, but uh, maybe Ember eventually, I don't know. Overstack doesn't look like it's happening then. Could try for Steelworker, I think we're fine just with the Horn Warrior and we really just hope to get quick here, Endless. Okay, we get Endless, I could put that here, it would be better there. about the worst we could have got. This fucking... Well. <sighs> could go the Welder Helper onto the Welder Helper. That way... Transcend up itself. Still remains at one health and the armor ten. I think that's like acceptable. But for now I think we just go Horned Warrior into Railbeater. It's probably better. Just get that extra power. But we're just gonna hit uh the steel and I guess we met <laughs> I guess we don't go the quick for the hell then. I don't know. Is hunting for quick good at that point, or do I need a hell then? Because these are pretty fucking trash for me. May have to force some shards. Could do that. Don't really know what that gets me though. Now we're just gonna have to remove lances for now. They're pretty useless. Man. Conflex Brawler. It certainly kind of makes sense. If anything I can actually go... Yeah, two, two Brawler, one Wrathful Prince could actually carry the run. I get the right stuff. <sighs> These just aren't good. I can't, can't like it. Okay, this is pretty boy. If we can come up with an excuse to fight bottom, I think that would be good. I don't know that we want these spikes though. Seems tough. I don't know. The, I'll get a lot of armor. This guy would die, but this guy would be alright potentially. What could I even get better than Gurg's Good at this point in Resonant Shard? Probably not much, right? Maybe I won't do this. Yeah, it's probably not worth it. saps me for more than I gain. Revenge. Ah, oh, fuck. We just let that all go up. A lot of this hinges on me finding the rituals. We're gonna have to try to really carry with the Prince here.
absolutely right. I really think trying all three torches there is pretty goddamn trash, though. I fucking hate screwed shufflers. Move him up, that might be in my interest. I think I gain 10 here. Is that in my interest? I don't think that it is. Transcend them quite nicely. Yeah. Patient. It's a soft counter. Days is still more important, but between the armor and that, maybe we're good now. Not a whole lot of gold for that trinket. Frost. Suppose that's fine on an end flame. Man, you just love giving me intrinsic. Ooh, hipsicle. Okay, we need an ember upgrade now, or a pip upgrade. I don't know what to do with a lot of this other stuff. So if we can make these torches cheaper, I could intrinsic an infinite box or something. Don't need the permafrost or anything though, right? Uh, I guess I could intrinsic the silence. Move consumed there is actually okay. I'll intrinsic the silence. Oh no, is that even that good? This be a better intrinsic. Not intrinsic that. I'm probably gonna have to do this play that I was thinking of. Makes sense. I make this zero. I wouldn't want to hold it over, right? Just make it zero. Definitely gonna hit that hell vent up. Could be a lot of damage. I'll be having a lot of stuff though. This is fine. Quite hard for me to miss here. I want a pip upgrade. I should be able to get a pyre chomper, and then my transcend up is just off to the off to the stuff. Um, I could do this. It's weird, but like if I do this, just makes it so my transcendent gets that power up. Really need the hell's banners, huh? Do you kind of want to get?
that transcend them powered. Is this motherfucker doing 12? <laughs> I'm straight up just dying here. Wow, oh, well, we might just be done. What the fuck is going on? Oh, so nice of you to fucking show up in the fucking bottom, you dumb fuck. Alright, let's power this piece of shit up. Uh, I don't know why I put him down there, but fuck me, you know. Okay, let's go. One. Two. Kill the endless one. Should've just played that silence card, it's not gonna do me anything here. Why are you... oh, you're doing 10 still to yourself. It's an issue. At least you'll die here. Try to eat up the uh, stuff here. Well, if I can get the torches buffed up, then I might be able to be good to go. Alright, well, he soloed it with Rail Beater. Prince showing again that he's not needed. Even on a run like this. Uh, one horn tome could be usable. A lot of this hinges on getting, uh, you know, pirate chomper from from what you call it. But we're likely to get that. Honestly, you're pretty likely to get a pirate chomper during a fight. Barely are getting stuff that we need though. Well, I think we definitely want to go this route. Lance, I guess. I would like Hellhorn so I can get like Dark Deal or I don't know what else. Last Stand, I guess. Yeah, I want Dark Deal. I can sack Imps with it. Add Rage with it. 420. I need two hell into something that costs shards. Which is unfortunate that this doesn't. Do I need to? If I got a steward and a steward here. Twice, that's 50. Nice just to help it something that's good. Like an imp in a box would be even yeah. Just considering how much we need Pyre Chomper, I think it makes sense. So between two of them and an Impsicle, we, we better be getting a Pyre Chomper relatively commonly. Dude, stop giving me Queen's Impling, what the fuck? I could leave just all pip here for this. It's not 100% out of the question.
Hmm. I don't, I don't think I put it down. It's like the worst possible case scenario to fucking draw that before anything useful. Ugh, why are you in the front? Oh my god, dude, what the fuck do I do here? I guess I gotta let transcend them go. This is a, just the most abysmal fucking draw orders I could ever hope to have. I mean, it is just hilariously bad. It's like fucking just incredibly fucking bad. Oh, so nice of all of you to fucking show up fucking finally. God, how hard is it for me to draw a fucking pirate chopper? Thank fuck, you son of a bitch. You absolute rat bastard. Ugh, it's just pointless if I can't get this guy in front. So I think we just need to start getting other shit out here. Let's see, get this out. Four, fifteen, fifteen. Yeah, either way, it's yeah. Okay, this is good. Get this out of here too. Oh, now you're giving me a fucking pirate chopper. Oh, fuck you. Like fucking fuck you. bottom deck to transcend them on the next draw through. It's just so stupid. Oh no, no pirate chumper here, huh? This is really starting to piss the shit out of me. I guess I just don't play anything, I don't know. <laughs> this is just mind-boggling. How can these things go any worse? I guess relying on fucking whatever you call it is ending up being a bad bad call. I still don't think we put this down. I should be hopefully good to go here. And I can do this, this. Space for imps. <laughs> Could I have drawn any worse? Look at all the fucking cards in my deck, and then what does it give me? Holy shit. That is just fucking amazing. stuff. Okay, we've already killed him, but fuck this guy. Give him a piece of my goddamn mind. Oh, good to know we can win through that. I mean, it, how could it ever have gone worse? It's just insane. We just skip these. I had a hard enough time getting through this fucking deck anyhow. 
Well, seeing as I don't really need the prince, I'm thinking maybe I do want Ember because until I do find Pirate Chumper, it's a fucking nightmare. Yeah, I think I need Ember. I could do Harness the Titan to try to get my torches the ability to kill fucking Transcendent. It's actually not the worst idea. How can I can I get them doing damage? I don't know. Maybe. I don't even know if I'm gonna hit this steel or not. It's a vortex. I feel like there's been, what, no Merchant of Magics on this fucking run. I've apparently hit two. Should have put some plus damage into these torches. I only got one torch that's any good. Even with this, I have to cycle through it on two of the same torches, so it's just not worth it. I don't know why this can't just be plus ten. Gifts might work, though, huh? Like... Is it the end of the world if I guess into any of this? I mean, I could get one arm tone down to zero that way. I'm actually thinking gifts might be the call. Yeah. Do I still do tr Ember? I think so. It's still just awkward as hell to play all this shit out. Now watch it give me minus two. If I go left, I'm only really looking for quick. I guess I could look for endless as well. Endless is questionable. Oh, shit's done. It's nice of your dumbass to show up. I think I know good things we can do with these. That would have been nice, but I think we're more more hurting for ways to kill our imps at the moment. God damn it. Can't even get a multi-strike, man. This is a fucking stupid dumb fucking thing. I guess we'll just do endless here. It's gonna be hard to draw to the deck, though, huh? Eh, it's not the end of the world if it's on endless. Can make a few removals. for now. I don't know what we're going to do with Prince. I don't know if we use him or not. I don't think we do. It's funny how like an unupgraded... This is, this is what I'm saying. Like, I, I haven't put a single upgrade into this real beater and it's still better than the final form of Hornbreaker Prince here. It's absolutely not the group I wanted to fight. I kinda need this gold though. Harder boss too, fuck. What do we do here?
before this fight, do I need this? I would probably want to go like this. We're not going to use Transcendent here. Um, 75 doesn't even kill them. No matter what, I'd probably just do that. Did I just put him down here then? I think so. We'll find out if taking Heaven's Seal fucks us here. I got that, that's good. It, it gives me this shit on the worst possible turns. At least I'm killing that, but fuck. I'll never be able to fucking play this, I guess. Block 12 here, might as well. Take 9. We've bottom decked him for the box, both of them, every fucking fight. Every fucking fight. It's actually fucking just ridiculous. be a good transcendent, that's for sure. Endless one, kill that. Really? Fuck the penitent. Fuck everything about them. It's my first time playing my Endless Transcendent, by the way. That's how fucked this fight is. Because it fucking top decked, and then I just... <laughs> nightmare from then on out. Absolute fucking nightmare. Have fun with that fucker. Oh, it just decides to give me everything here, huh? Oh, let no one say that one arm tome never had a place. Tiresome climb looks pretty good to me. Inferno could be alright. 
the patient. We want that tiresome climb. I'm not even trusting in my ability to generate armor. Okay, do we want a hell then? I can do this. And quick would help this deck so much. Listen, at Merchant Magic I get this cheaper though, but the gifts... If I go left and I don't get multi-strike or quick, quick in particular, multi-strike isn't as needed, I think. If I go to the right, I can hellvent stuff. Such as this. <laughs> that way if I miss one, I can just let the other go. I also hellvent these. It is pretty important. I guess I'm feeling going to the right. I don't really trust in my ability to do anything with this piece of shit. I also kind of need just everything that Infinite Box can give me. Complete trash. Probably take the plus three for my torches though. Could intrinsic but tiresome climb for patient. Man, we, there's gotta be better stuff than this. Come on. Yeah, we need, we need better. Okay, light some casing I was thinking about. Rail hammer is not out of the question. I think I like the light stone casing because now I can spell chain an imp in a box. Yeah, I think I will do that. Let's see if we can get here with money. I don't think I need to remove consume on anything. Put that down to two. Too bad this trick still doesn't work. Plus 10 on another one of these. Hold over. Try to put that at a four. I'm just gonna bring that down and intrinsic it. And I will spell chain this. And hell then. This, I guess. Alright, we should hopefully be good here. Um, guess I don't absolutely need the Dark Deal. What is my least needed card at this point? Titan's Gratitude, probably. Yeah. Alright. Feeling okay about this. the melee weakness. Alright, well that's why we held at that, right? Let's take one of 
them out. <clears throat> that want to get some good shit here looks like good shit is inbound Look at that, 143 hammer is still getting fucked. It's possible that I don't get fucked here. Okay. Go mid now. Fucker. <sighs> Kinda just wanna let dumb prince die. idiots do. Hey, why don't you just die? 40 by 3. What a fucking nightmare. Right, we got the transcendence here. Jesus, we got fucking hail the transcendence. Finish with imps down below, it looks like. Or we could just finish up here. Don't know why I didn't think of that. Go to my ember. Yeah, that's a kill. Get fucked. Okay. One more shit show to get through here. This has been one of the most frustrating runs I think I've done, actually. Just because of how much RNG actually has to be relied upon. Like, pages could save us here, no joke. Like, if I lose my guys, which is totally possible, I could, like, pivot to something else and just power it with Transcendence. I think blank pages actually makes us very hard to lose here. Well, that's a really good start. Kinda. Alright, I'm gonna... I guess I... Let them hit me. Do that. Pfft. 
miss number one. Um, fine here. We already have the fledgling imps power in these things. I don't know if I want to play that. Transcendence would be so much easier to maintain here. <laughs> wow, look at that. That cannot stand. Uh, it's fucking floor. Oh, Blink Page has been fucking abysmal so far. Hundred percent on this gifts play. I'm definitely liking that. I'm just supposed to do that. Get fucked, motherfuckers. Of course this fucker has to come around. Ron is just fighting way after way to piss me off. Wait, why didn't she return a consumable? Have I really not hit a. Uh, I guess I haven't hit that thing yet. Uh, now we have one. Perfect. guys shit loads of things, eh? Yeah, we simply don't have the pip to do what I want to do. Jesus, dude. Uh, I don't know. I guess I could just go for the flying kill. or so. How do I go about getting that? Let's do that. Very confused how I'm doing two sick 
Oh, right, okay. It's like, how am I not killing you? Whatever. Wow, that's gotta be the first time I've ever actually seen Corruptor get added. It's not, it doesn't do anything because there's no echoes, but it seems like it's always Infector. Kill him with the uh, actual effect. Yeah, I should have played that first. That's Mobby. Right, Get me out of this run, Jesus. Hornbreaker Prince doing what Hornbreaker Prince does best being absolutely useless. I think the frustrating things on that run were like, you know, I, I hit what, one, two, I guess only two steals, but still couldn't find a quicker multi at any of them. Kind of annoying. Just added to the frustration. But I don't know. On the one, on the other hand, at least it was a unique run, like. Gifts into one hump tone was pretty legit. I'll probably give the MVP to that, even though it's probably transcendent. Or imp in a box. Impsicle seem to just give me fucking imp queen sampling over and over again. Prince is such a bad champ. I mean, I, I think Tethys is technically better, it's just. Tethys is in Stygian, and Stygian is not Hellhorned. But honestly, I can safely say I've made use of Tethys as a part of my main game plan in way more decks than Prince. Prince by far, by far, by endgame is the 100% most likely champ to not be a part of a game plan for me. This fucking champ is horrible. Oh, at least we had Railbeater. Railbeater just showing the power here. Literally no Merchant of Steel upgrades at all. But just a Horned Warrior thing, and One Horned Tome showing power, Imp a Box showing a lot of power, Transcendent of course showing power, Torch showing power, and Flame was okay, and Ritual was better of course. Gifts though, Gifts is pretty nice. Oh, nope, have fun with that one. That one was... It's probably a pretty good incant deck in there somewhere, especially considering there's a Founding Seal, eventually. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.